the chances of a match are, they're not zero, but they're not a lot higher than zero. Hi, this is Peter Kowaki. I'm here today with Greg Schwartz from Make Online Dating Fun. Um, what do you do if there's nothing uh, on that profile, though, that you can connect to? Looks like a good person, but I don't have anything yet. So there's two things when you really look at a profile and there's just nothing to talk about. One is you're not going to have very good odds of connecting with this person. Like the chances of a match are, they're not zero, but they're not a lot higher than zero. <laughs> and part of the reason for that is you don't have much in common. And so it's hard to show that in a way that the other person is going to be like, oh yeah, you're interesting. I want to connect with you. And this is not actually a specific to a man approaching a woman. Same thing in the opposite. If a woman is approaching a man online, because that is actually really powerful for women to do, particularly on OkCupid, it's really powerful. But if you have nothing in common, it's hard to actually start a conversation. So that's one is take, you know, set a timer, take a quick shot and move on because your odds are very low. But the other thing is take a look deeper. So sometimes that's actually finding, oh, you know, this photo is of them at a beach and I just went to the beach. In fact, I just literally came back from Hawaii yesterday. So you could talk about, you know, hey, I just went to Hawaii and I had a great time. And let me tell you something about that. So it's not just, hey, I went to Hawaii recently. How's your day? Because there's no connection there. You share something about yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's really the, the deeper part of this is I start with add value because that can be a clearer way to get at it. But really what you want to do is be a little bit vulnerable. This is not, you know, I, uh, I cried in the fourth grade because I got punched by a bully level of vulnerability. It's, let me share something real. I just got back from Hawaii and I had an amazing, you know, ribs there from this restaurant and it was totally awesome. And you be a little bit vulnerable and you do it concisely. Yeah. And yeah. that's why if you can add value, it's much cleaner and much easier. But if you can't, then you'd be vulnerable. Sometimes, you know, one of the things I tell uh, clients is, you know, when you're telling them about your day, about, you know, you know what's going on, even the fact you've just gone to Hawaii, that's sort of a background. What you're really doing is you're trying to connect emotionally. You're trying to connect on a person level. So, you know, get back to how that made you feel. Get back to how that ties into the larger arc of your life, your aspirations, your you know, dreams. And you're right. You don't want it to be, you don't want to be, you know, oh my God, I, you know, things are so horrible. You know, I'm a hot, white hot mess. Yeah. You got to avoid that stuff. But you, you want to give them something of you, the data points, the, what did you do? The action that, that needs to be there, but it's a backdrop. Yep. So thank you for taking the time to talk with us, Greg. I really do appreciate it. Uh, for those who are interested in learning more about uh, Greg and his uh, dating coaching, uh, you can go to uh, makeonlinedatingfun.com, and he's got a, a free checklist uh, that for getting more out of dating online. So definitely go check that out. So again, uh, thank you for taking the time to talk with us, Greg. It was really informative and appreciated. You're welcome. It was a lot of fun.